I'm talking to people about teachers, about mentors, and about role models. And in my new book, I break down TEACH into an acronym. T is for truth-telling, E is for empathy, A is for asking, C is for cheerleading, and H is for hoping for the best. Because I believe that those are all very important elements when it comes to being a good teacher oh, or a good mentor. What do you feel is the most important aspect of being a mentor, of being a role model? I think communication is key. I think if you have a good communication between two people, your goal at hand will get accomplished. I think being able to relate to their students. I've had teachers who have said, call me by, your first, my, you know, by their first name. I've had other teachers who take the time to get to know me. The ability to listen, because sometimes I think people think that it's about sharing all of your knowledge and your experience, but I think really it's about listening and connecting with the other person. One of my favorite teachers is one of my professors actually at Vanderbilt, and I think it's just because he's extremely fair. Uh, it's a really hard class and really kind of pushes me to my limits. Empathy is definitely important. Understanding the emotions of anyone you're dealing with is definitely the best way to develop trust, and I think in a mentor, the biggest thing you're looking for is trust. The way I like to look at a teacher, the way I like to look at a mentor, is I want somebody who's gonna be positive, somebody who's going to inspire. Uh, I don't I don't wanna be around naysayers because they, they drag you down and, and, they, and they snuff your dreams out. Well, risk taking, I think yeah. is so important in life. Yeah. And I've, I always feel that when we're taken out of our comfort zone and we're uneasy or maybe even terrified, it means something important's about to happen. That's where the magic happens outside of your comfort zone. I totally agree.